In this tutorial, we will see binary tree traversal methods, pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal. So in order to perform the binary tree traversal, we need to create a tree class. So for storing the tree and all its information and methods, we are creating a class which is named as tree. Within the class tree, we are creating the node structure for storing the binary tree node, struct node. The binary tree node will consist of three details. One will be the data what need to be stored on the node and a node pointer to its left and right child. So there will be two pointer to two different nodes which will be named as left and right that indicates the left and right subchild of a node. We are including the structure constructor for initializing the value of the data of the structure node and its left and right child. So it takes a parameter D and the D will be assigned to the node value data. The left and right pointer will be initialized as null PTR because initially while we are creating a node, the node will consist of data and its left and right child will be null pointer. So here we have created a structure node for storing the information of a node of a binary tree, which consists of three details, data, left and right pointer to different node and a node constructor for initializing the value of the data and left and right pointer as null pointer. Now in the public section, we are creating a node pointer, which is named as root, initialized as null pointer which is used to point to the root of the tree. Now the root of the tree should be accessible outside the class also once we create a tree. So that is why it is mentioned inside the public access specifier. Initially root is pointed by null pointer. Now we are including a constructor. Inside this constructor we can write the logic for creating the different nodes for respective to the tree what we want to create. Now we are going to write the code for creating the tree after some times. Now bef before that we are writing the logic for pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal. The function is named as first pre-order for pre-order traversal. It takes a pointer node. Initially it will take the parameter as a root. Now as long as this node is not equal to null pointer, we are solving by using recursive method of pre-order traversal. So in pre-order traversal, first we have to display the data of the node and then recursively call by moving towards the left child, left subchild, left subtree, and then move towards the right. So in pre-order traversal, we are calling recursively pre-order with the left side and then pre-order with right side for a particular node. So as long as the node pointer is not equal to null pointer, first we display the data, then move towards the left, then move towards the right. Now we are writing the logic for in-order traversal by using a method which is named as in-order and that also takes the node pointer as a parameter. So here the order of statements for in-order traversal is first move towards the left, then display the data, then move towards the right. So we recursively call, as long as the pointer is not equal to null pointer, we recursively call in order with left side, left subchild, then display the data of the pointer, then move towards the right side by calling in order traversal recursively. Next, we are writing the logic for post order traversal in similar way. Here the order of calling will be first to the left, then to the right, then display the data of the node. So here also we are recursively calling post order function with first with left side, then with right side, then display the data of the pointer. So we have recursively written the pre-order traversal, post-order and in-order traversal. 
by using the method which is named as pre-order, in-order and post-order that takes a node pointer and call the respective functions recursively with the left and right side and display the data with different order of order required for pre-order, in-order and post-order. Now, according to this tree, what we can see this tree, we need to create the tree structure inside the constructor of the class. So depending on the tree that we need to create inside the constructor of the tree class, we need to first create the number of nodes. So here we have total nine nodes. So we will totally create nine nodes with different node name and its value. The node is named as F, B, G, A, D, I, C, E and H and respectively we change the value that need to be displayed inside the node, the node data. Whatever data we are passing that will get initialized inside the node data value by using the structure constructor. So here every time we are creating an object of the node pointer, it will call the structure constructor and pass the value what value we are mentioning as the data and that data will get stored into the tree node, each of the node. Now all the nodes we have created, now we have to link the node with its left and right child. Starting from the first node for F, the left side of F is the node B and the right side of F is the node G. So we write F pointer left equal to B and F pointer right equals G. So that connections will happen for the node. Similarly for the node B left side is A and right side of B, B right side is D. So the node A and B, A and D will get connected to node B as the left and right part. Now for G, there is no left side, so by default it is null, so right side is I for G. Now for the next A, there is no change, there is no need to assign any values. For D, the left is C and the right is E. For the node D, left side is C and the right side is E. Now next for the node I, left side is H, there is no right side for I, only the left side is H. By default for all other nodes which we have not made any changes, the left and right will be null pointer because that is what we have initialized in the node stretch constructor. So we have created the nodes, different nodes and they have connected together with its left and right side. Now F is the node that needs to be pointed to the root. We have to initialize the root F. So we are writing root equals node F. Now calling these methods, we can write inside the main method. First, we are creating an object for the tree class. The name of the object is OBJ and we mentioned the data that needs to be stored in the tree is tree node is by char. So it will store all the care data into the data part of the tree node. We can change it to int or float as we require for the tree or any other data type. Now if the root of the tree object is equal to null pointer, we can display that the tree is empty. So that means the root is not pointing to any of the node. That means the tree is empty. Otherwise, we can call the methods which is required for different traversal. We have defined the different methods for performing different tree traversal, binary tree traversal. So by using the object of the tree, we can call different methods. OBJ dot First we will call pre-order, then we can call obj.inOrder and next obj.postOrder. And in that we have to pass the parameter, the root node, 
because the pre-order, post-order and in order will start from the root node. So we are mentioning the parameter for the traversal pre-order, in-order and post-order. The parameter is the root of the tree. So the parameter we have mentioned obj.root. So since the root need to be accessed outside the class, that's why we have mentioned root access specifier as public inside the class. Execute and see the program and you can verify whether you're getting the correct results according to the pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal methods for this specific tree. If you are getting the correct answer for the pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal, the values kindly comment below. Also, I have mentioned two different trees here. For this tree, you can try whether it is working for pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal. First, you can find out the value of pre-order, in-order and post-order. In order to get the, the traversal for these two trees, first you have to make changes into the constructor of the tree class. You need to make different objects and that need to be connect, connected by mentioning its left and right child for each of the node tree you have to mention the type as integer not as character if you are able to find kindly comment below